In a previous video that I did, I mentioned that there was an issue with some of the virtual switches within the Homey app and had some shortcomings, and I told you I would explain those shortcomings. Let me give you a demonstration of what I actually wanted to do. If you saw that previous demonstration, you saw that when I opened this contact sensor, there was a certain color on this third reality nightlight. I think in this case, it's red for the third reality, green for the Fabaro. Then when I close either device, the light turns off. In addition, what I wanted to do is I wanted my Echo device to announce that this third reality sensor or this Fabaro sensor was open and then announce when it's closed. I want to demonstrate what it does now with this new app. So red light comes on. You should hear a statement from the Echo. The third reality contact sensor is open. The third reality contact sensor is now closed. The Fubaro contact sensor is open. The Fubaro contact sensor is now closed. Notice the voice difference on this device whenever the device is closed. I'll show you how to get that. Welcome to Bud's Smart Home. If this is your first time here, appreciate you joining us today. I've been comparing the Homey app to the SmartThings app. I mentioned that there was an issue with some of the virtual switches within the Homey app and had some shortcomings, and I told you I would explain those shortcomings. Essentially what it is, in a nutshell, is that the virtual switches currently can only be used as an action within the Miss A app. I'll refer to the Alexa app as Miss A. The problem with that as compared to SmartThings is that in SmartThings you can use virtual switches in the Miss A app as both triggers and as actions. To give an example of why you would need it as a trigger is if the SmartThings app routine would turn the virtual switch on, you could use that change in status to have an echo device make an announcement or say something. Currently you can't do that within the Homey app. What you can do is you can create a virtual switch within the Homey app and you can use that switch then as a action rather than a trigger. So how could that be used? If I tell an echo device to turn on a light, you could have a, a routine in the Miss A app use that, that request to then turn on a virtual device or a virtual switch. That switch can then be used within the Homey app to execute the action within a, a Homey routine or, or a Homey flow in this case. So that was the problem. I found a solution. Solution works very nicely. If you're familiar with Echo Speaks, this is like Echo Speaks on steroids. So first of all, in the Amazon app, I'm going to show you, you'll see here the two devices on your screen. I can turn, turn the switches on. These are virtual switches. So I called one third reality echo switch and the Fabaro echo switch. So those are, are working virtual switches. Let me go back to the Homey app and what I use to create those, if you go into settings, tap on settings and see down in the list, there's experiments. And under experiments, there are virtual devices. And if you turn that on, you can use that then to go back and go into your devices, hit plus device, new device, and then select virtual devices and then you can create the type of device you want. I didn't use that because these things are kind of wonky. They're, they're EU type devices, I think. They're calling these sockets, you know, they're terms that, that we're not familiar with in the US. And they, they don't act as like a switch. Uh, so what I used actually is, let me get out of there and I'll go back to more. In the apps, you'll find Virtual devices you see at the very bottom, that's a community app, and that's the one that I would suggest you use. You can see you can create buttons, you can create a switch. Uh, so 
that worked out real nice again same way if you go back go into devices add a device new device and then you just select the app virtual devices it's there at the bottom on the right hand side and then you can select device and then connect it then you basically call this whatever you want whatever you're trying to control and uh, then save it so i use that to create a couple of devices there's the you see at the very bottom it's kind of grayed out the third reality echo switch and the ferbaro echo switch so i'm not using those for this routine as i mentioned i found another app that's like echo speaks if you're familiar with echo speaks and it's fantastic if you go two apps what you're looking for is this Amazon app at the top of your the screen there if you click on that you'll see that I've set up a bunch of devices so essentially what you do I'm gonna switch over here to the desktop here and you could see so this is the app you go into homey apps and you can install this app and then once you do you can add any of the devices you have. But what I want to really show you is within the flow itself that I made. So let's go there. So this is the flow. This particular one is for the third reality sensor. So the, this has two different actions. This is when the contact sensor is open. And this is when the contact sensor is closed. Basically, those are referred to as alarms turned on and alarms turned off. It's a little counterintuitive when you're not used to those terms. But when the contact sensor is opened, the light is set to 100%, set to the red color, it's turned on. And then I have the studio echo dot make this statement. I'll show you how to set this up in just a second. Then when the contact sensor is closed, it dims it to 0%, turns it off, and it confirms that it's closed using the, um, the app that I just showed you, the Amazon app. Same thing with this, the other routine. This is for the Fabraro sensor. Same kind of setup here, except that the color is green and there's a different phrase in here that references the Fabraro. By the way, I had to revise the name of Fabraro so it would pronounce it correctly it was making a wrong pronunciation I'm not sure I'm I'm pronouncing it correctly for that matter but uh, you can within here you can test these routines so this is simulating that if the contact sensor is open you know shows you all the actions that's going through reality contact sensor is open turns the uh, third reality light on and then if I test this one this should close the contact sensor. Contact sensor is now closed. That's a pretty nice feature, how you can kind of test these routines and process. So let me show you. I, I promised I was going to show you how to set this up. First, let's go back to my phone app, and I'll show you how to add this in here. So assuming you wanted to add a device, you would go to the devices screen, hit the plus sign, add new device, click on the Amazon app, select the type of speaker that you want to add, say for instance Echo Plus, then hit connect. And if there's any Echo Pluses, you see it says no devices found because I don't have that particular device. But that's how you add them. And then you add each one and then I would place each device in its uh, actual room. Once you have those added in, then they're available to use within your flows. So let's go back to the flow here and I'm gonna show you how to add one of these. So then you'll go to add, then, and these are in my, my studio. So I gotta to go to my studio here. Here's the studio echo dot you see up here. First thing I wanna show you is that, look at all these different cards that you can use in here. So you can play, set the volume, uh, next, previous, play, pause, toggle, shuffle. I would assume that's used for music, repeat. There's a, just a scat of commands in here. So down at the bottom, these are the two that I use. This first one basically uses the Miss A's regular voice 
to state whatever command or whatever phrase you put in there. The second one uh, lets you select a unique voice and there's I think there's 27 total voices in there that you can use and then you can also put in the command. So we'll select that one to demonstrate. So you bring that in to your flow. We don't have this attached right now, but I'm just going to set it up to show you. So your echo device, you can have a, you first need to pick a value. So you want it to speak or do you want it to whisper? I'm going to select speak. What do you want it to say? I'm going to have it say, hi there, bud. And then you search for a voice and let's going to, I'm going to use Matthew English voice and then we can test that. So I'm going to click on that, test from here. Hi there, bud. So uh, hopefully you heard that. We'll save that. Let's try it again. The first time you set these up, I think it takes a while to, to get everything set. So let's see if it responds a little faster here. Hi there, bud. Yeah, so that's it. That's, that's how I, I was able to enable the voice in response to the actions here. The third reality contact sensor is open. The third reality contact sensor is now closed. The Fubaro contact sensor is open. The Fubaro contact sensor is now closed. Pretty cool. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate a thumbs up. That helps the video to be discovered in the YouTube algorithms and really helps my channel. Again, enjoyed having you here with me today. Until next time, stay smart and stay connected. This is the future.